So, all Jews should have died in the Holocaust. Now, is that criticism of Israel or just Jew hatred? It's a rhetorical question. The, the, the gutters are bubbling up and the hatred is tangible. Now, Paige McPherson has been monitoring all of this. We have to distinguish between criticism of, of Israeli policy, many Israelis have that, and many Palestinians have got a perfect right to be angry and upset. But when it dribbles over into Jew hatred, we have to say it, and it is happening more and more. It's happening more and more, and it's not just in Canada, Michael. Obviously, we've seen this as a growing concern and a growing phenomenon, most, I would say, prominently in, in Paris, in different suburbs of Paris. In France, we've seen, you know, the looting and destruction of Jewish businesses just because they're Jewish businesses. Uh, Palestinian protesters trying to storm synagogues. Well, they're not Palestinian. Frankly, they're not Palestinian. They're North African. They are Tunisian and Algerian. And they have little to do with Palestine. And what happened in Paris, and I know that suburb well, it's called Little Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. They ran through. They didn't say, are you a Zionist? Do you support what's happening in Gaza? You're Jewish owned. We're going to smash your store and steal your property. Exactly. It's horrible. Exactly. And of course, we do see the, the Hamas-Israel conflict as of late being used as sort of a catalyst or a reason for these kinds of protests. But these are absolutely cross the line from mm. anti-Israel, from criticism of the state of Israel to just pure anti-Semitism. I don't think that people imagine seeing seeing riots in the streets of France so much that uh, the government would condemn and ban well, pro-Palestinian yep. protests. There were 70 mean, people arrested when they... Now, exactly. Another aspect of this, and I, this is fascinating, it's when people who are paid by the public and represent the public mm -hmm. actually make statements which are beyond offensive. Let's see this clip now, please. Free Gaza, free Palestine, and if they continue now, from we will go from here there and we kill the Israel. We're gonna kill that all Israel, and we're gonna show the power what we can do further. Thank you. You're gonna kill Israel? No. You want? No, I'm just saying we're gonna go there and we're gonna show the power to them. It's nice to know the TTC, the better way that language skills are so uh, are so pristine. Now he's wearing a TTC emblem here. Um, I don't, I think it's probably a janitor, I think. I don't know if he's a driver or not. I think it's a janitor. But he has a right to be at that protest. His language, the way he spoke, was appalling. But he's identified there as a TTC worker. Mm -hmm. That, whether he's supporting Israel or opposing it, that should not be allowed. No, that's absolutely concerning. And wearing the, the emblem of the TTC and going out and doing that is something that certainly should not be allowed by the public transit that everybody in our city in, here in Toronto, uh, for people at home, obviously, the Toronto Transit Commission, you know, Jews have to ride those subways too. And are they going to feel comfortable? I <laughs> I'm mean, on it every day. It, exactly. Have we, have, have we contacted the TTC? Well, the TTC right now has said that they're kind of, uh, see, they're looking into the situation, mm. as, you know, we can expect from, from these kinds of agencies. Um, but I think that they've said that this is obviously a concerning situation. Uh, but, yeah, they're, they're just, they're looking into it at this point. Right. I don't know how much follow-up we're going to ex be expecting from them, but it's concerning, and it's concerning because it's not just the TTC, right? We're seeing this as a bit of a trend here in Canada. Yeah, well, this bit, that's... I mean, this is, by the way, Andy Byford, who's head of the TTC, is a very decent fellow. And I think if he, he, I'm sure he will hear about this. I think something will be done. But mm -hmm. this is far worse. And um, let's see that this uh, Facebook quote now, please. Can we put this board up on the screen? All the Jews deserve to die during the Holocaust. This is not a statement about Israel, about Gaza or anything else. This was on Facebook. You've done a lot of research, mm -hmm. not we. You've done all the work. This is someone who works at... Hydro One? Yes, yeah, so this is a Hydro One employee. This whole thing happened after one of those Israeli-Palestinian conflict Facebook posts that so often incite, uh, you know, all of these different comments and spark these sure. controversies. There was that kind of a conversation in public, but then after this woman, uh, Alfreda Zaman, who is a Hydro One employee, uh, based on my understanding and the research that I've done and speaking with Hydro One, contacted her former Ryerson classmate uh, to tell him this message. That's what she sent him. Now, he screenshotted that, took a picture of it, and uh, since then it's been, it's gone slightly viral on, on social media. Uh, I know that the Hydro One head of security has been reached out to, and I also spoke with Hydro One just this morning and said, you know, what are you going to do about this? They told me that they take these matters very seriously yeah, and that yeah. they've actually referred it to a police investigation. Because so, if, it, if it's not said whilst on the job, apparently, Yes. And we don't know uh, if she was working or not, but if it's not actually in the workplace, then um, it, it's not an internal issue. OK, that I can understand. I believe in freedom of speech, but that is something which is so obviously contrary to, to, to hate laws 
uh, I'm just uncomfortable that I could be dealing at Hydro One with someone who thinks that my father's family should have died in the gas chambers. I'm not, not sure if I'd really be completely confident of quality service. Right, exactly. And obviously, Hydro One being uh, the company in Ontario that provides electricity to Ontarians, everybody in the province, this is a public entity, something yeah. that we pay our tax dollars to. And I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say that people can't have their free speech. I know a lot of people do have those views that all the Jews should have died in the Holocaust. Not many. It's appalling, but it's something that exists in some people's minds. But yeah, the fact that we're seeing this, you know, there's mm. in these protests that have happened, I mean, I haven't seen a lot of people that I've known, but I have seen a TTC shirt. I have seen a Hydro mm. One employee come out. This one in particular, um, you know, there aren't many people who think that. And there aren't many people who support Palestinians and Palestine who think that. That, that is right. on its own an obnoxious, unacceptable statement. If you make it, there, I'm sorry, there are consequences to having that sort of belief. Come out, apologize, say, I'm wrong. I'm so sorry. It'll never happen again. Otherwise, we're not going to let this go. You, you can't. If that was said about black people or gay people or Muslims, Arabs, it, there will be consequences. Jews matter too. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.